Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and today we're going to carry on with the Scottish Premiership Prediction Series. Yes, we missed the ma last match day down to the fact the old thumb was that week. I had other forms of content to put on the channel. I just didn't get round to recording that, especially with Moving House as well. So it returns today. We're going to go through every game of the Scottish Premiership this weekend across Saturday and Sunday and give predictions as to what the scores will be. If you're new to the series and if you're not a Celtic fan and checking out the channel, make sure to like and subscribe. It's all very much appreciated. We're trying to grow the channel as much as pro possible. Pro, 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 pro. We can speak at some point. I'm not going to bother putting up my predictions from the last match day because it's a bit irrelevant now and see how we get on. We've done well the first week. I think the second week we've done it, we didn't do too great, but of course we missed out last week. So that was yonks ago. There was international break and everything. So let's just move on, start afresh and talk about the next game week in the Premiership. It's going to be an interesting one. Celtic and Europe off the... Uh, Celtic and Europe? Celtic and Rangers off the back of playing in Europe last night. Will they suffer from European hangover. Aberdeen playing midweek as well, continuing on some fine form. It's a really interesting weekend, some tough games. And let's start at the bottom of the table where there's a really good game going on. St Mirren against Hamilton Academical, my oh my. That's if it even goes ahead. St Mirren have had five positive tests in their camp going into the game this weekend. Will they get made to play the game or will they do what they've done last week with Motherwell? Will they wait till the day of the game and say no? It's a bit weird though because if they keep cancelling these games for St Mirren, there's got to be a backlog somewhere so they've really got to play on and they might be forced to play some of the younger boys against Hamilton which begs the question, can Hamilton finally turn around some very poor form if they don't and St Mirren do beat them tomorrow if the game goes ahead I think it could be the end of the line for Brian Rice. My goodness God Almighty, both teams have had a terrible start to the season, both on 7 points, joint bottom of the table. One of them needs to win this game to get a spark, need to get a wee bit of confidence heading forward. Right now, they're the two likely teams to go down, judging off the performances so far. But Hamlin, by far for me, are the team that look the least um, confident, the least able, and the most likely to go down this season. So Brian Rice needs to get the finger out, and this is a massive game for him. Will the mentality affect things that have St Mirren going to this? Will they be more hungry with the younger boys in the park? Who knows? For me... I'm going to predict this at Mirren win 1 0, and that could potentially see Brian Chipper. Brian Chipper? Brian Chipper? <laughs> Brian Rice, big Chipper, getting the boot. It could be a big weekend. St Johnson against Dundee United. Mickey Mellon needs to go into this game and get a result. They have been poor of late. They are still in the top six, which is ultimately very good for them. That's what they want this season. But the, the gap between sixth place and bottom of the table isn't that large and it can change in a matter of weeks. So Mickey Mellon would love a win from this. St Johnson off the back of a big 5-3 win against Hamilton last week. But the problems are still there. Three goals conceded to a struggling Hamilton side. The story of St Johnson's season has been very poor defensively. And they need to get the finger at the backside. For me, if Shanklin bothers to turn up in this game, even 80% of what his best is, they're going to take the win here. St Johnson's defence hasn't looked sharp at all. And for me, Dundee United are just a better looking side. Yes, it is imperfect as at McDermott Park. But I don't think that will phase Dundee United at all. And I think the home advantages are kind of out the window just now. The only ones who proper have a home advantage are those with plastic parks. Um, the fact no fans are at the grounds really doesn't change things. So for me, I'm going to go for a Dundee United win in this game. And I'm going to say 3-1 Dundee United. Warren Shankland to bag two of those goals. Motherwell against Ross County. Motherwell really need to get a, a, a kick on this season. They need to move and get a few points more on the board. Yes, they have two game in hand, uh, two games in hand uh, around the opponents that are you know that area of the table, which is good for Stephen Robinson. And he's had an extra week on the training ground over the past fortnight. Of course, their game called off last week, so I think that'll do them the world of good. I think that we know how good a coach Stephen Robinson is, and I think using this time to to get the team sorted will have benefited them massively. Ross County haven't been mugs since the season started of course but I think the signs indicate towards a win here for Motherwell um, I think this will be a big blessing for them the fact they didn't have to play last week and giving the boys a, a rest and getting some energy in the legs um, they really need to kick on and, and now I feel like I've said it in the last two videos as well there has to be that turning point for Motherwell if they want to be a top 6 club again this season and they need to make it earlier rather than later um, and, and now is the perfect time following this wee break now I think Motherwell have also had a positive test in the camp as well uh, which hasn't been spread to anyone so they'll only be missing one player but um, they have the they have the facilities they have the, the players and the quality to get past Ross County in this game for me Motherwell should be taking three points I wouldn't be shocked if Ross County fight hard enough to get something from the game but I'm going to go with a Motherwell win anyway I'm going to say 2-0 to the well 
The final Saturday game is a big one. Kilmarnock against Hibs. Alex Dyer taking on Jack Ross, two managers who have been brilliant so far this season at their respective clubs. Alex Dyer. I think a lot of people wrote him off, a lot of Kilmarnock fans even wanted rid of him, but their form of late has been great and they're playing so well. Uh, and this is all coming off the back as well of a, a disaster with their kind of Covid scenario, where they had to go in the Betfred Cup and play a bunch of boys against Infernland and, and they were left with bare bones, but came back, responded well in the league and now they move on to a tough game against Hibs. And let's just talk about Hibs for a second, their season so far has been great, Kevin Nisbet is hitting all the high notes, he's doing well, um, the players behind him doing well as well, Martin Boyle. Defensively they've been decent enough too, they've took points off Rangers, both teams have really done a good job at starting off this season, both I think respectively 4th and 5th in the table. Kilmarnock though the more impressive for me over the past few weeks, considering how they started the season, they weren't great, but their form of late I think is 2nd best in the form table. Brilliant, and honestly, if they can set up one of those typical Kilmarnock defensive performances against Hibs this weekend, I do see Kilmarnock nicking it here, and I said it on the Talk Scottish Football Podcast, plug, go watch it. Um, I just see it happening, as much as I, I like to rant and rave about how good Hibs can be, I, I think Kilmarnock have just got this 1-0 I'm going to go. I think defensively, if they set up right and they, they play in the plastic part to their advantages, they could beat Hibs, and I think a lot of people will be laughing at me for this prediction. I think a lot of people will expect Hibs to take the win, but if um, they're frustrated enough, it's a typical game for Hibs to drop points in my eyes, and I'm going to go for the 1-0 uh, to Kilmarnock. On to the Sunday games then, and that is the teams who are playing in Europe, of course. Celtic and Rangers will go in order of the kickoff times, which means 12 o'clock we start at Celtic Park. Sorry, we start at Pataudry for Aberdeen versus Celtic in a game which, ah, God, and it? it's just, we need to win. Celtic need to get this done. If they don't, oh, God, um, disaster in the cards. Uh, it's just, I'll obviously speak more about it tomorrow in my match preview for the game. One of the biggest match previews I feel like I've done for a domestic game in a long time. There's such a importance behind this game and such a, 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 a dire need for a result here and a good performance for Celtic. Can they turn up to Pataudry and do, do what they've done so well over the past few seasons and that is get a good result and, and put, basically put Aberdeen to the sword. Of course the days are gone of Keelan Tierney swinging the ball into Moussa Dembele, those guys are gone but we have a good enough team. Aberdeen on the other hand have been amazing. Uh, I think Derek McInnes is, is really giving it a right get it up ye season to, to people right now. This is the first Aberdeen side I feel like we went to Pataudry to play that really possess a technical ability to beat us. In the past two, three years, it's always been about Aberdeen being a rough, hammer thrown side. I like to get in and about Celtic, but at the end of the day, technically we've been miles beyond them and we've beat them at Pataudry and we've embarrassed them. I think physicality is what they've perhaps won in, but we've embarrassed them at Pataudry. This time heading there, I think Aberdeen have got a technically really good side. You look at McCrory uh, and Ferguson straight away in the middle of the park. Johnny Hayes might not be the most technically gifted player in the world, but he, he certainly does a lot of hard work. Defensively, they've got guys in there. Uh, Joe Lewis, if he turns up, uh, you've got big quaver toes, Considine, yes, sir, I can boogie. They've got a really good team at the minute. They're playing really well. McInnes has got it going. He's got the, the, the oil all around the right parts. Really difficult game, but Celtic need a win, and if we set up with the right system, I think we can get it. I'm going to go for a 2-0 Celtic win at Pataudry this weekend. Hopefully, it's not a bitter watch once more. And finally, Rangers taking on Livingston at Ibrox, 3 o'clock on Sunday. The European hangover will affect Rangers. You wouldn't suspect so, let's be honest. If Rangers lose points in this game, I would be, number one, very grateful towards Livingston for doing it a second time this season, but I would be shocked. I would be utterly bamboozled if it happened at Ibrox. Yes, Livingston done really well in the last game to, to kind of uh, frustrate Rangers into dropping points at the Tony Macaroni, but I don't see it happening again. Rangers right now, I think, would be very happy with the three points in any sort of fashion this weekend. Uh, if you said to Steven Gerrard at the start of the season, uh, or sorry, a few weeks ago, no, as far back as then. A few weeks ago, you said to him, well, you'll walk all over Celtic, you'll walk all over Liège in the Europa League, but you'll struggle against Livingston and still get the three points. He would bite your hand off. It's exactly what Rangers need to do. These are the games that will test them till the end of the season if they can go and stop 10 in a row. Steven Gerrard, I hope he does manage to slip up once more, but we'll wait and see. Livingston, they'll be okay. I mean, bang average, not quite as good as they have been the last couple of years, but Gary Holt knows how to do it. And if I can trust in anybody, I'm trusting in Gary Hole. So let's hope we can. I'm going to go for a 1-0 Rangers win. I think it will be one of those narrow ones uh, that they just get the job done. But ultimately, it's all Rangers need. 
That does it as for predictions for this weekend in the Scottish Premiership. If you want a more in-depth viewing of each game from myself and my partner, David Buick, then head over to Talk Scottish Foot. I say my partner as if for like a thing there. My podcast partner, David Buick. Head over to uh, the Talk Scottish Football channel. Head over to his channel too for some talk on the Scottish Championship this weekend. That both the links will be in the description. But aye, that'll do it. Enjoy. See you tomorrow for the Celtic Aberdeen preview. It's going to be nasty. Huh? See ya.